this opening screen. Oh my god. Hey, hi, hello. Welcome to Kitten Kajira Gaming. Welcome if you are new. And guys, this is a very special weekly Valley reset. This is update nine day. I am so excited for this. I've even donned my favorite Monsters University outfit in honor of the Laughing Floor update that is now currently live at the time of the posting of this video. I am so excited for this. If you guys are new to my channel, new to Weekly Valley Resets, every Wednesday we go over what is new in the premium shop, any new events that have come out, any new updates that have possibly come out with the release of the premium shop items. We also go over the current Dream Snaps and last week's Dream Snaps results. And then we also vote a little bit. Uh, with this being an update, there is going to be quite a lot of more information to condense into this. And I do want to let you know, if you are watching this at 9 a.m. PST on February 28th, I am currently live on both YouTube and Twitch. You're already watching this on YouTube, so you can just hop on over to the main page and find my live video button. If you prefer to watch on Twitch, the link is down below. So let's go ahead and let's start out with, I think, aside from the laughing floor, one of the biggest updates they've done, and they overhauled Scrooge's shop. So let's go ahead, and you guys are going to take a very first peek with me at the way Scrooge's shop now looks. Let's get over there. I really love the way my valley's turning out, and y'all, today, the, with the release of a star pack. Oh my god, there's, there's the armor. Wait, I thought we were supposed to get the armor for free. Wait. Wait. All right, guys, so this is, wow. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so this is the now new and improved Scrooge shop. All right, so we have the original two pedestals down here and the little side pedestals. We still have the uh, open windows. So we also still have this pedestal, which is new. They have, are these items we can buy? No. Wait. No. Um... Oh, they're wall items. Oh my God. Okay. So they expanded it where they have this little seating area, but they have now, I guess, like your wall items on the back. This was that center platform we always had. And then they have wallpapers and tile flooring up here. And then, oh, this now holds four items. It's usually only held two, but I feel, oh, okay. And you can get this light that's up here. I feel like having this sitting area without being able to buy the stuff. This seems kind of extra, but I mean, overall, like the Scrooge shop in general looks massive as a whole. Uh, can already tell that I am still cycling through the clothing items. So first off, we're going to go ahead and take a look at this. This is the Dreamlight Armor, which I thought we were getting for free. I thought we got the Dreamlight Armor for free, but I guess not. This is $40,000. Um, it is pretty expensive, but I actually kind of like it. Let's take a look at these pedestals. The telescope I have. I don't have this coffee table. We're going to see what all is new. I have that. I have all of these little items. I don't have any of these wallpapers and tiles. Instantly, if you guys see wallpapers and tiles in your shop, you don't have them. I wish we would have them cycle through again like we do other furniture items, even if we have them, especially with multiplayer, because that would allow us to give our friends and other visitors the chance to get furniture items they don't have. Have, oh, we don't have this. Uh, so socks, glasses. Oh, I do like getting these um, goggles because I've been making mannequins that look like monsters. All right, I'm going to grab both of these clothing items. Why are these pants 50,000? Oh, but they're Monsters Inc. pants. That's cool. But why are they 50,000? All right, y'all, moment of truth. Let's go check our mailboxes. Okay, y'all, so we're getting ready to check our mailbox. So they completely overhauled this. This is interesting. Okay, so there is this thing which automatically opened up when I opened up my mailbox. It usually does not happen like that. So we have the Community Challenge Rewards. It says, Hey Valley Villager, back in 2022, the Disney Valley Dreamlight Community banded together to complete all five objectives of our follower and wishlist campaign. Each goal was accompanied by a reward, many of which have already been included in the Valley, such as the Villager and House Dream Styles and Valley Visit. We're happy to deliver two more rewards to all players today, the much-anticipated Heroic Clothing Set and Partners Statue. These items will also be available at Scrooge McDuck's store for all players to acquire. Thank you for all who participated, and we look forward to the production of the last reward, a community-designed animal companion in the future. That's pretty cool. I'm going to be really, really mad if I just spent 40 grand 
on that armor and I just got it in my thing. Okay. I am really excited for the partner statue. The partner statue looks really awesome. Okay, so I don't know. Because here's Dreamlight Armor, and I just spent 40 grand on that Dreamlight Armor, and I got it for free. So I'm kind of mad. Like, I am kind of, kind of mad. So the next item to have opened up is the lovely Monsters Star Path has started. Rewards straight from Monstropolis and some other sweet retro fashions are waiting for you. It expires in 41 days, which is this date right here. So we're going to check that out in a little bit. But first, we're going to check out Mini Mouse's Festival of Hearts Dream Snaps Challenge from last week. This is what I submitted. I went off of Ref, uh, Ralph Breaks the Internet, where you have all the princesses in their really comfy clothing. And I have Vanellope sitting here, and I was dressed as Aurora. And I just thought this was a really fun challenge to bring love towards friends instead of just having, like, a romantic love. I wanted to show platonic love in my Dream Snaps. So we're going to see what I scored in this challenge. All right, so lately I have not been scoring well. And I think since a lot of people were doing that romantic love, I'm probably not going to score really high. So I think I'm going to hit this on the low end and say like maybe 900 on the high end. Just because I don't think my inspiration is going to come through to people. And I think a lot of people took this as a romance challenge where I just, I didn't. So let's go ahead and see what I actually scored. Oh, alrighty then. So I scored four grand. I did have quite a lot of tags in this one. I had 24 and 43. So I had 24 cute and 43 delicate where we were supposed to have like four and five. So I was multiple times over that tag. Now, could it be that I had a lot of tags? So that got me higher in the moonstones? Or could it be that a lot of people voted on it and really liked it? I don't know. I still don't know how Dream Snaps works. But you know, 4,000 is 4,000. And I scored 184 pixel dust and a chest. If you are new to my channel, I'm not opening these chests. I am storing them away for an advent type video coming in December. So stay tuned for that. All right, so now that we have gotten the rewards out of the way, let's go ahead. We'll check this current week's Dream Snaps. We will look at the premium shop and we will look at the newly released Star Path. First things first, we're going to check the shop tab. They did mention that they were going to start bringing back some of the old Star Path items. So that is something to look forward to. But this page right here is going to be the bane of my existence because I honestly, I must have all of this stuff. So they had teased that we were going to get this Snuggly Duckling Tavern and Boo's onesie. I thought there were going to be Star Path items, but I guess not. But I, I, I have to have this tavern. The Snuggly Duckling is like probably, I don't know, it's adorable. And I really love Rapunzel. So for $37.50, it's coming home with me. Realistically, my Dream Snaps rewards paid for this. Now let's go ahead and let's look at the Monsters Inc. tool set. Now I am not generally one to purchase the tool sets. I did purchase and still consistently use my Nightmare Before Christmas tool set. I am very mad they have not updated our hourglass to match it, but it is what it is. Uh, maybe eventually they will update them. But this Monsters Inc. tool set is so adorable and honestly perfect for this update. Look at this watering can, you guys. Like, how adorable is this? So you get the shovel, which, again, like, it's really cute. Like, this is super monster-esque with the pickaxe and the fishing rod. They are out doing themselves in this. And then you have the hourglass, which is really cool. The watering can and, of course, the phone. Honestly, the phones to me are really lackluster and I don't like them. But for $37.50, you get six tool sets. So I'm going to go ahead and purchase this because I'm going to be using it all throughout my stream. Now the next thing to look at is this small pink wings. This is a back piece. They labeled this as Frozen. Why this is Frozen, I don't know because nobody in the Frozen realm has wings. Um, I feel like maybe this should have been like Tinkerbell or something with fairies. But this is really cute. It's $17.50. It is a clothing item. And our last one that I am most excited for, which I honestly, I might switch into this um, and stay in this through the entire stream versus the outfit you saw me in this morning. And that is Boo's onesie. Y'all, look how cute this is. I am really excited for this. This is really, really cute. This is $1,500. Um, I have seen in a couple of Sarah, uh videos and tweets that he did wish they offered these costumes with like hood up or hood down. Which would be super cute. Oh my gosh, I really like these. I might even style my character to look like Boo to play today. I don't know. 
but we're going to take this for 1500 all right guys i am winding down on the number of moonstones that i have so let's go ahead let's check out our star path our star path is lovely monsters activate the premium star path to collect tokens faster and unlock seasonal rewards you will earn even more iconic looks and special furniture to decorate your village so you can shine like a star. They give you two options. So they have one where you can activate the star path for 2,500 or you can activate it for 3,300, normally 35, and get 100 tickets. Um, sometimes they give, I guess they're not allowing you to do the free path like they did uh, at the beginning of the year. Hmm. Okay, we're going to go ahead. I'm going to activate for 3300 and I'll have to end up buying Moonstones. All right, guys, here we are with the lovely Monster Path. We have one of uh, the Dream Styles for Mike. So let's go ahead. Let's look at the duties. Build stuff. It's better to give a favorite gift than to receive. Complete Dreamlike duties. Break rocks. Uproot the forgetting. 50. Starting out, y'all, you need 50. Oh, my God. Okay, let's look at our rewards. So our rewards start out with, what is this? Is this a, oh my God, we can get a door. So we get Boo's door. Um, we can get this lovely turtle. Isn't she adorable? This is the rosy cloud turtle. We have this suspender outfit and this uh, face paint. This is all level one. Oh, and these float. That's cool. All right, level two, we have wallpapers, a new hairstyle, some motifs. A girly-esque monsters tub of another fountain. What is this? Monsters Inc. coffee machine. Okay, that's a little weird. Uh, we have some more motifs. We have the lap canister palette. We have this costume set, which is kind of cool looking. We have a little plushie and we have some monster eye makeup. Another door. Oh, we're getting some Hercules motif. This is an adorable sweater. I kind of wish, since this is all like lovey stuff, this was done last month. Because look, we also have this four column arch. Like these are all to me. These are all love type things that you should have seen in February. But it's still cool nonetheless. And we have a hypnotic stone floor. Level five is more motifs. Uh, we have this little plushie. We have Sully's dream skin. We have this skirt, which is kind of weird. We have Celia's hair, which I'm excited for. And a green vending machine more motifs, this really pretty piano, another plushie, this shirt's pretty cool looking, and then we also have Mike's motif, or uh, dream style, and the Italian date night, so this is from Lady and the Tramp, and then of course at the very end, after you get all of it, um, you can just trade in your moonstones for, uh, sorry, trade in your tickets for moonstones. The Dapper Wally bundle and the Ursula Transformation bundle are still available for those that have not completed it and would like to do it. And now we have the new Starlight House Bundle. Okay, I need to go buy some Moonstones so we can take a closer look at this. All right, so I went ahead, purchased my Moonstones. Now we're gonna go ahead and get the Starlight Bundle for four grand. So let's go ahead, let's take a look at this. I'm really excited for this. I do love these bundles. I just think they're so cool. And look, we get all of this stuff on top of, wow, that is a lot of stuff, look at this. So, Belle's Green Gown, the Provincial Library House, Messy Buns, Messy Bun with Sleep Mask, Cucumber Eye Mask, Slippers, some Pajamas, a Dressing Gown, a Lounge Chair, um, another one of these rugs, a Popcorn Machine, a Starlight Projector, some new wallpaper, another bed, and a uh, Lounge Chair. How cool. We had to work for these bundles. So, this one you purchased for $4,000 and you didn't have to do anything. So I'm very interested to see if maybe eventually those quests will pop up because when I did check my quest line, I have um, Donald and Ursula and it said to unlock these, I need to progress further with Sully. So we'll take a look at this when we live stream. Now, of course, let's go ahead and check out our Dream Snaps challenge for this week. And let's check our voting for Savannah style. Be sure to come back next week to see what I actually submitted. So let's go ahead and take a look at these. This is an outfit challenge. So of course, our outfits need to look the best. All right, starting off, we're going to look at the left. If you're new here, we always start on the left. I compare both of them, and then we vote. So we have this person here in the Sunlit Plateau. This is an interesting outfit. I kind of wish they were turned more so I could see the front, but I do love that they incorporated the snake. That was pretty cool. 
And they have Scar, like, side-eyeing their character over here. And then we have this human doing, like, the same. That's cute that they got the paws up at the same time. But I do wish it was, A, brighter and that we could see um, their outfit a little more. I know when you come to Skull Rock, it does kind of fade out a little bit in that area. Um, we're going to go with the one on the left just because it is brighter and I can see more of the outfit. So we have this person here. I don't know where they're getting this shirt. I think I might have this shirt. But they are smiling with Nala. I kind of like how both of their faces like kind of match. And we have this person here in the same shirt as the other person sitting in front of the Vitalis Mines with their little robot buddy. Can't see their outfit either. I think between the two of them, though, I am probably going to give it to this one on the right. I do love how this filter makes this area look. And I do find it hilarious they're both in the rain. All right, we have this. What This shirt is like really, really popular, y'all. So we have this person standing here in front of Casita and Pride Rock with their, with their little snowy raccoon. This is an adorable shot. It does look like the Cappy is getting into the bowl of fruit. And I love this outfit and how excited this person looks. So I think between the two of them, we are going to go with this one. It's a little more interactive. Look at this stunner. Look at these glowing flowers and how they have the moon. And it matches very well with their outfit. I kind of wish... Because all the shadow is like on this side of their body. I kind of wish they had maybe the light projecting this way. I feel like we'd be able to see their outfit more. It is still a very cute outfit. And I love that they use the sunbird. And Nala's kind of just like here in the background. We have this person with Jack with their eyes closed. So I don't know. I don't see any of like the Savannah tags in here. But they do have that Mickey Cloud which is kind of cool. And of course Jack. We're going to go with the one on the left. This picture is just chef's kiss stunning. Oh my gosh. Look at, look at Nala and Simba. Simba, they look like they're nuzzling. That is adorable. All right. So we have this person's outfit um, with all the blues. And then they have like the brown jacket with a big sombrero. Not, not a sombrero. Not a sombrero. Okay. Okay. Uh, with the straw hat. And if we look at this one, this person has the same pants as the other one. And they're roaring, which is funny. They're also in front of Pride Rock. Uh, I am going to go with the one on the left. I just love Simba and Nala in the background. And I think it's just overall the brightness looks best on their outfit. Oh my goodness. Look at Simba just sitting here cheesing. And Nala's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Your fox down here is food. Uh, so we do have this person here in um, this... <coughs> in this common shirt. Like, this is fantastic. Okay. This shirt is really popular. So we have like some uh, knee length shorts, kind of looks like they're in the savannah, like, you know, it's supposed to be. And then we have this person in, oh, Eternity Isle. So I love uh, how you can see uh, Agrabah in the background. I'm not really getting savannah styles with their dress um, or even with the filter in this one. So I think I'm going to go with the one on the left. We have this person also in Eternity Isle in that very common shirt. Can't see their elf, the rest of their outfit, which is kind of sad. Um, so let's look at the one on the right. This is an indoor submission, so this is new. You can see their whole outfit. Man, a lot of people are picking this top and these pants. Like, was I missing something? So if it's not this outfit, it's that bright yellow shirt. Did I miss something with my submission? So I think between the two of them, uh, we're going to go with the one on the right just because I can see more of their outfit. All right, so they took a picture inside Pride Rock, which is really smart for a outfit challenge that has a set theme like Savannah style because you don't have to decorate your area if you don't want to. So we have Simba kind of just being all cheeky with uh, their that yellow shirt again, man, that yellow shirt. Um, I do love their stance here. They're also kind of like roaring like a lion. This is, <laughs> this is funny. Well, I can't see their outfit. Again, there is that common shirt. But they're pointing to Zimba roaring, which is kind of hilarious. I kind of wish like their person was also roaring along with Zimba. That would have been really cool. Since I cannot see the outfit on this one, despite how hilarious, I do love that they're pointing into Simba's mouth. I am going to go with this one on the left. All right, let's go ahead and look at this one. So while it is not a selfie mode, I can't see their outfit. They have like half of their outfit still blocked. So unfortunately, I can't see their outfit. They also have Mirabelle here with the uh, butterflies, which is still also kind of blocking them a little bit. This one though, y'all, this one is 
stunning. I love the moon and the colors. Like this is just a phenomenal shot. The outfit to me still doesn't really scream Savannah Styles. Um, I'm not quite sure what Yes's dress has to do with Savannah. Uh, but between the two of them, I am going to give it to this one on the right. The brightness of it, the overall composition, this is just a great photo. All right, we have this one who took their photo on the beach. So we have um, the turban and the shirt. Both are pretty classic in this challenge with some camo pants and some yellow sneakers. Both of them are in the rain. This is just hilarious. All right. Oh, so this person has face paint on. I don't know how much you can see it, but they do have like a little lion face paint. I don't think this was supposed to be a lion. I think um, it was maybe the fawn face paint, I think. This was really, really smart. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Uh, but they have Simba and Scar and a little croc. Oh, my God. Wait, I just noticed they have all three of them. They have Simba, Nala, and Scar. That must have taken so long. And, of course, they had to get it in the rain. Like, oh, my gosh. I kind of wish it wasn't raining um, and that they had, like, a nice sunset or even, like, dusk with the moon would have looked really great. But, obviously, that's not really something you can control if you're in a time crunch, especially getting a shot like this. So I am going to give it to this person on the right. This is an overall great shot. I do love the background. Uh, I wish they did choose different pants. It does kind of clash a little bit, though. All right, y'all, and the last photo for our video today. So we have this person um, with Simba being all cheeky. I don't know what Donald's doing back here, but, again, I can't see their outfit. Uh, I really wish I could, or at least if it was brighter, maybe. Let's look at this person on the right. We have Nala looking up at them. This is a very cute outfit. I do love this brown um, Lion King shirt that's underneath this jacket. Um, I actually have this jacket, or it's the darker version. I don't remember which one, but I have this jacket on my person. I love the cat ears, honestly. I, I wish I thought of it and said I did, like, aviator ears. I think I tried aviator ears. Wait. <laughs> aviator glasses, but I think I did try the ears with the hair I submitted, and it just didn't work. So um, between the two of them, it is going to go for the one on the right because it is bright and I can see their outfit. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for today's Weekly Valley Reset. I am so, so excited to be getting ready to stream the update. So be sure to go check me out if it is currently 9 a.m. or later on February 28th. I will be live streaming almost all day. I do have a quick break in here. Be sure to check my socials all linked down below, Twitch, Twitter, and Discord, because I will be posting when I'm taking breaks and what the current update looks like for me as I'm continuing to stream throughout the day. If you guys do enjoy cozy game content, including updates on DLV, speed builds, and anything of the sort, be sure to like, thumbs up, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. It makes a ding in your inbox every time I post. I post about three days a week. I do stream twice a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays on Twitch and YouTube at about 4 p.m. PST. I also stream on Twitch Friday and Saturdays at noon, playing Power World with my husband, Broke Pixels Gaming. If you guys are looking for a adult type community to celebrate and build Dreamlight Valley, be sure to click the link down below in the description box to join Dreamlight Valley Adults After Dark. This is an 18 and up Facebook group where we all just discuss all things Dreamlight Valley in a like-minded community. I want to thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and sticking through this journey with me. I am a small time content creator looking to grow her channel in 2024 and I hope you guys will continue on with me in this journey. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the live stream which if you guys have stuck around to the end we're having a giveaway over on the live stream. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Bye!